G'day everybody, and welcome back to Enshrouded, which is sort of back, because previously the only stream I could do was the demo, and I'm really excited to be back playing this because I had way too much fun building with the tiny little cubes that you can build with in this, and the fact that things interact with voxels in a quite different way to most games. I don't think I can remember most of the building that I did, <laughs> but I do remember that I possibly got into the building a little too soon because I didn't get enough options and I should maybe this time try and progress some of the story so I get more building bits. So that's kind of my thinking. I think I'll make myself a little bit of a shack of sorts and then go from that to finding, to unlocking some more parts and then go like periodically trying to alternate between the two <laughs> but in the in the other one i had to kind of focus because with the demo it was timed oh wait a second uh is there anything else to pick up up here yeah there's this I knew there was something else on the flame and its murmurs uh, does the skelly man have anything no okay cool So yeah, um, there's a little game that I think I'm going to try and play today, which is, can you predict how hot my, sheds, my shed is going to get? Because <laughs> it's meant to hit potentially above 40, where I am right now, 40 degrees today. So it could get quite hot. You're talking Celsius or levels of hell? Um, first one, then the other. So. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, this way. Got these little fellas. Character looks like a prisoner in metal slug. He is pretty, um. He's kind of a little bit generic, man, isn't he? So. <laughs> 42.6 degrees is my bet. I'll bet five chickens on that. Oh, Shadow. Having to use chickens, because you can't use points. Right. So, uh... <laughs> For those of you who didn't see the... Um, the Enshrouded stream the first time... This is a game where you have this shroud of shadow that's fallen across the land. And we're try We're part of a faction that are trying to... I guess deal with that. This is a bit of a... It's very Valheim-y to me. Ow! Dang it. In that it's combat and... Um, whoops. Combat and building. And the building, like Valheim, allows for quite a bit of decorative fun. Okay. Help with them. Ah, but... <laughs> uh, where was I up to... Thanks, RVLG Mirroring Tech for the sub while I wasn't even online. <laughs> Thanks, Alpha Hound, for the Prime sub. And thank you, Bandelier, for three years. Thank you very much. Right, out of the shroud we go. If you fall, you'll rise again at your last beacon. Delightful. So I will die a lot. There's quite a bit of combat stuff in this. Yeah. 
Yeah, the way you unlock stuff is a bit similar to Valheim too. That's true. But we will have to later find out whether the bees will be happy. Oh, I might grab these berries since I can see them. Yeah, I've been waiting for Enshrouded since the demo. I I was very keen to play this, which is why I am playing it on my usual uh, underground alone day. Let's see if I can not be terrible at combat. Thanks, Nuki World. <laughs> Thank you so much for 37 months. Your shed will reach 319.35 Kelvin. If you are hotboxing it with your PC on, 314 Kelvin without, if not. Oh, no! Oh, no, I'm dead. Too many wolves. Too many wolves. How did I not die there? Oh, how did I not die there? That is unlike me. Oh, but yes, I was very keen to play this. Because the building was really fun. <laughs> I really liked my little hut. And I liked the idea that instead of getting... Instead of unlocking, like, certain workbenches, you found workers. You found people who would come and help you and do those workbenchy things for you. Uh, I might want to apply one of these bandages, eh? Thanks, Wildcat. Thanks for the prime sub. Uh, it is multiplayer. And TFE has been similarly excited to play in Shrouded. And so we will be playing it on Monday. Capac, myself, and TFE. Now, I do find... I do know of something that's a little bit annoying. Which is that apparently... Progress is not uh like if i progress in this world and i bring the other two into it they're not going to be able to progress in this one in the same way because anything i unlock while they're not here they can't do so it's gonna be interesting seeing how quickly i want to kill capac when he's off exploring without us So, <laughs> I'm not sure how that's going to go. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks, thanks Vigil Dark Tennis. Thank you for the Prime sub. They respawn after two to three hours. Oh, is that why people are reporting that the progress isn't shared? That makes sense. Okay, so that that's good. Because that means I can potentially drag them into this world. And so we, we see how it goes. Alright. Last time, during the demo, I think I made my my little hut off this rock, one of these rocks over here. But the map does seem slightly different. Uh, I would say this is, well, I mean, Codon, what... There's no point listing Ark or Atlas in a list. They're the same game. Uh, this is very much more Valheim. Uh, just trying to think. I guess I can put this... I guess I can put my little hut down in this open ground out here. And then we'll go from there. Uh, Alright, so. Crafting. I need to get more stones. How long until the modding starts for this? Uh, I hope it's popular enough that it can... That they can get modding. That people will start modding for it. Uh, how do build things again? Oh, that's right. 
Ah, oh. so, okay, this is something that Enshrouded has that is so far superior to Power World. You can see where the boundaries are because it zooms you out when you're placing down your flame thing, your fire pit. It is unfortunate for Enshrouded that they did release around the same time as Power World, but I did look at um, the number of people playing it on Twitch, though, like number of people watching it on Twitch yesterday, and it was about, it was close to half as many, like half the viewers on this compared to Power World, which, you know, that's pretty good considering it's the second most played game on Steam ever. Power World, that is. Okay, so I can do various upgrades once I get some bits. Cool. The first most played game is uh, PUBG. It peaked at 3 million. On Steam when it was at its peak popularity. Alright. Find the sleeping survivor. Okay. You know what? Let's just... Um... No. I'm going to build some sort of storage thing. Uh, v is crafting. Have I got some sort of storage thing? Play multi construction hammer. Set the shape, select the material, sub menu. This is all. Okay, this isn't what I want. Have I not unlocked the ability to build any sort of. I don't think I have got any sort of storage device yet. Uh, attributes? Can I change any of these? Skills. Ah. Sneak attack. Pickaxe deals 30% more damage against stone objects, including resource veins. Ah. Yes, I like that. Let's focus on the building stuff. Stuff that's going to get me resources quicker. Need a workbench? There's no workbench. I don't have no workbench. Oh, wait, I do have workbench. String. String. Where do I get string from? Can I craft string? Yes, I can craft string. Sorry, it's been a little while <laughs> since I've played this. I've forgotten how some of it works. Alright, let's do the f most fun way to chop down a tree. With the hatchet. <laughs> Run laps around it till it falls over, does he? Yes. Alright, I need to find some of these smaller trees because I think they were giving me the... The other bits? Yeah, plant fiber. There we go. There we go. Seems therapeutic. That's what, yeah. Yeah. Right, let's just pop it down. Oh, I can't build it on my altar. I'll build it Construction hammer, rough stone blocks. Storage. Tiny chest. Need more string. Okay. 
Uh, can I make more string yet? Is that enough? Alright, now I can store some things. I do not want to be carrying around the resin. Alright, shift click is what I need to do in this game. Gotcha. Might keep the purple berries on me. I uh, will put... Sword there. Hatchet there. Bomb there. Actually, bomb down there. Then we'll have my building menu. So combat and building. I'll do it something like that. How many pieces did I need to make my some scrap rags? Three string. Okay. I'll grab some some more plants and we'll make uh, some quick rags and then keep going. You know what? I would like the trees to be able to attack me like they can in Valheim. I like the... <laughs> I like the extra challenge that adds. I'm surprised that more games haven't tried to do the physics object-based trees. Because, like, in recent memory, the ones that I can think of... That's got to be an ore vein. The ones I can think of are Valheim and Icarus. I'm sure there are others that I potentially haven't even played ever. Oh, wolf. Yeah, parried you. Take it. Yes, die. Ha. And now I get to steal your kill. <laughs> and the ability to drop them on enemies, yeah. Just, like, think about in Valheim how cool it is that when you're fighting a troll, the forest is just getting decimated by the troll swinging around that big old hunk of lumber. It just makes for really a really memorable experience. Stream is frozen. Oh, no. Capture card, which seems to be completely and utterly dead, which really sucks. I seriously hope my old capture card will work if I tear apart the computer later today. Otherwise, that's going to be a bit frustrating over the next few days until I can order a new one. Because it's a Friday, so I'm not going to get one until next week at the earliest. Which sucks. But yes, anyway... Play a game to distract myself from the frustration. I think that's the answer. Uh, I was in the middle of making some rags. I need some string. Oh, that's quite loud. And now I can make the rags. All right. I have some basic rags. Woo! Chuck all that away. And off we go to the mission. Although, it's sending me a long way away. I think there's some other stuff I can do first. Oh, dang, missed. Oh, I forgot. This is a game where you want to break all the things. I forgot that. <laughs> break all the containers. that's how we're going to get metal scraps.
Yes. Alright, what's over here? Can I break this weapon stand and get nothing from it? No, just wood. Meh. Boring. So I can get these arrows. Actually, did the... the targets give me anything? Now I'm just going to be going around breaking everything, aren't I? Nothing. Just a little bit of wood. Why not the wagons? I didn't seem like I was getting damage markers on the wagons. Oh yeah. Could take a while though. Oh no. Well, because they're just wood. Won't bother breaking those anymore. Um... Punching. Okay, it seems like a lot of this stuff doesn't really get you all that much that's exciting. Ah! Ah! I don't want to fill my inventory with water. Meat. Give me the meat. Give me the mushroom. Read the book. A good night's rest. Yep, telling me that I can get a rested buff from sleeping. There we go. I have a rested buff. Interact with campfires to cook. X, become rested in the wild. Place food on your action bar, select it and press left mouse button to cook. Oh yeah. All right, um, so, okay. Let me, let me make use of my stream PC. And while we're doing a little bit of cooking, I'm going to go to my dashboard and prediction. Start prediction. My shed is currently 29.6 degrees Celsius. Uh, well, my shed reach 30 C by, let's say, let's do it. Let's wait till... 7.30 in the morning? Give it half an hour? Yeah. Uh. So, yes, burn, and nope, just melt. I'll give you five minutes to decide on that one. Yeah, it's currently 29 point... No. Yeah. 29.6 degrees Celsius. Uh, oh yeah, may as well cook the mushroom. That's inside. With the two computers running. With me in here. No Charlie, though, so she's not adding to the heat. Can I pick up that? What is that? Nope. This is going to be, um, this is going to become a thing. I don't want to break my weapons, though. Oh. 
Hello. Wait, is that counting as... No, it's not counting as in the cart. Part, uh, part of the cart, it's on the cart. You had a bit more health than the guy in the tutorial area. We held out hope, digging through the rubble, our lips whispering prayers to the ancients. Always a watchful eye towards the horizon. Even in this furthest corner of the world, the shroud threatens to engulf us and seal away any ray of hope. As the air grew thick with that cursed fog, we held on. As fires raged on the horizon, ash falling like snow on Howling Pike, we pushed harder. May this home long kept usher us unto, into the bright age. Because that is apparently what we're trying to do. Usher in a new bright age. Where no shroud shall hide the devils and evils. I love it when I can just spam the attack button. That works for me. <laughs> okay. That's just picking up more rock. Oh, dead sheep. Uh, I honestly have no concept of class or anything like that, which I am aiming for. I am just, uh, oh right, I need the grappling hook to get through here. So I need to use those metal scraps to make one. Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, without clear path in that way just wandering discovering learning all the usual i will i will let you guys know if it reaches 30 degrees celsius before the predictions before the timing it seems most people think it will reach 30 degrees in here before then and then I will pick another number that's slightly further away and see if we reach that. The highest temperature I have so far recorded in my shed um, properly was... I probably have the thing somewhere. Uh, was like 41 degrees Celsius. Uh, the door is currently closed. All the windows are open, though. Yeah, that's the same. I still need the... grappling hook to get across there. I highlight that arrow? Yep. I do like that there's... Uh, random arrows around the world that you can collect. to do. Not want to lie down. I wanted to punch things. Punchy punch. No, not the, not the, there we go. That's what I wanted to punch. I do not have any bird. Well, I mean, are the birds friends or are they foes? It's unclear. 
It's always unclear with the birds around here. The raiders have besieged us these past two days, attacking from the bridge. Their eyes, such madness. We have withheld so far, but only just. We may not survive the next assault. I've ordered to rig the pass with our last munitions. If those scavengers return, we are prepared. Captain Arkwright. What did Captain Arkwright have in his chest? Ooh, health potions and wooden arrows. Keep lying in the beds. I am not Goldilocks. Yes, it is. It is good. I, I do like that the characters kick open the chest rather than actually bending over to use their hands. Right, I think it's. I think I'll head back to my little base because it looks like it's starting to get late the shadows are getting long so i will head back to my little start base maybe make myself a bit of a hovel to wait out the night thanks jonas quinn thank you for the prime sub thank you nixack for the prime sub as well and thank you elemental for a one whole year and the hundred bits too <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, and thanks, Vigil Nocturnus. I think you subbed while my stream was dead. Or just before. Yes, Shadow. Long Shadows. Thanks, Kyle Lanfair. Thank you so much for 43 months. Thank you very kindly. Uh, right. So... Let's build. Although I think I have to make a bunch of building materials. Rough wood blocks. Plant fiber roof blocks. And... Oh, oh, I think I just made a lot more of those than I wanted to. <laughs> uh huh. Well, that'll be fine. Got 1,500. Uh, I have, yeah, 1,500 of them. Kill. Let us begin with a bit of a wooden floor. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah. It's quite a tall ceiling, but I'm wondering if they do that so that the camera has room. What is my shed made of? My shed is um I think much of the walls are metal actually. It's like um, tin cladding almost. It's a metal type of cladding. Well, that's not even, but oh well. Two meter, four meter, two meter roofs, four meter roofs. Alright. I'll just stick with this.
Okay, now how do I punch holes out of these? There was a way to do that, and I can't recall. Anyone remember? Oh wait, I think I can just right click and remove. Yeah. Okay, so. Also don't remember how big doors need to be. Oh, there'll be windows. One of the best things about this game is that the windows can be added after. make a little railing around my little front deck because this is the only material I've got available to me right now Nice little hovel to begin with. And next up, I need to make a roof. Maybe more windows would be nice though. Now let's put a window out this side. And maybe one out this side too. Why not? I'm not paying for the heating. There's nine more minutes. Wait, did I say 7.20 or say 7.30? I think I said 7.30 on the prediction, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Just an update. It is 29.8 degrees in here. Now. <laughs> the birds are waking up, so the sun must be up high enough for them to be making a whole lot of noise. Uh, craft... Plant fiber roof blocks. I think I'll go the roof this way. I feel like since the demo, this is doing a better job of snapping to the larger grid blocks for these bits. This feels easier. Can't I change material types? What happened to all my wood? I've got them. Alright, what am I missing? I'm missing something. Oh, I have to change to a cube type thing to build with wood. I see. Thanks, just Kiwi. Thank you for the prime sub.
I'm definitely going to need the light source in here. Oh, nope, 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 bad wrong. Do not hold down left mouse. <laughs> it builds uh, not in a line. It just keeps placing them as soon as the highlight moves. Okay, and then this and... Oh no, no no, I just did a cube, I don't want a cube. Looks like I will be quickest doing this just with single blocks. Could fit an attic, true. I could put my bed up on a little lofted platform. And because this has fully mess with the ball voxels, uh, both removing and placing, uh, I could even have a basement. Okay. How's that look from the outside? Yeah, not bad. Not bad for my first little first for the 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 that first little hovel. Uh, what else can I build? Uh, we've got beds. What do I need for beds? Plant fibers, fireplace. Yeah, let's make a fireplace. And that is gonna progressively unlock more and more stuff. Let's make a window. Swap you out for some of these things. And discover that my window is the wrong size. Yes. There we go. I was making a double window. True. Thanks, John Che. Thank you so much for 16 months. Uh, just have to quickly do something. Place down my fireplace. I think it should go against this back wall. I'm going to be lofting. Actually, maybe over here. Yeah, if I'm going to be lofting the thing, I probably want it somewhere over here. Oh, there's light in here. It's glorious. Okay. What did I need for the bed? I needed more plant fibers. So, where are some small bushes around here? Exactly. Cut, thrice, measure, nunts. I mean, capture some fireflies. If you cut three times, you'll get the measure right. Or, you'll end up with more pieces of timber than you need. Life hack. That's how you get more pieces of timber. Ooh, there's red shroud and blue shroud. Hello. 
They took Pikemead's reach, they killed King Gormander. An army of lunatics, sickly pale, barely lifting their feet above the bloodied ground. They dragged themselves through our alleys, through the miasma, led by the mad guard of the north, Vorgoth. I always knew the elixir would sow a seed of distrust. I look up at the ancient spire, at the sky. There is no running, no hiding. We must persevere. Both, sir. Chest. Take that. A few more plant fibers, nice. <laughs> Can't thrice measure none. Is that how the Skywarp evolved? Uh I mean, yes, but that's because the three cuts were not all mine. Two of them were Capac and TFV. Ow! Okay, I can't block with the flame. Lesson learned. I tried to block with my torch. It did not work. Wait, when did my sword get repaired? Oh, I have to be targeting them to parry. Ah! Oh, I've mistimed that, even though he telescoped it massively. Magic might be more your style. I think the magic is more my style. Uh, I feel like I was messing around with the magic during the the um, demo. And I think it was more my thing. We'll get to magic. What I need now is stuff to make a bed. For my little hut. All right, so bed. Can make bed. Crude mattress. Done. I reckon we can make a little bed up the top, so let's do that. Uh, how am I going to make the stairs slash a ladder? Put the stairs starting here. Just need to go a little bit higher. And then I can build around this level, which means I should be able to use the floor pieces this height. Yeah. Oh, uh, actually, I don't think I want it to occupy the full roof space. I think I'm just going to make it along the edge. Uh, so let's go back to... Yeah, remove these. I want this a little bit wider, but not covering the entire space. I just want a little bit of a loft just for my bed. We go up, and we can't fit. Dang it! <laughs> All right, fine. Looks like this window is going.
Okay, what about that? Is that going to work? If I drop it down to there and then have a little landing. Whoops. Got a hole in my wall. I feel like I'm losing more space than I'm gaining by doing this. <laughs> But I guess I can put storage under the stairs. Not enough. Oh, okay. And then I have to make sure not to roll out of my bed. Which is fine, because I grew up with a bunk bed. Thank you, Capival. Thank you for 26 months. <laughs> you put TFE under the stairs. <laughs> Oh, what do you think? Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm down with this. I like this. Thank you, John Jay, for six mi 16 months. I can't remember whether I said that before, and so I'm going to say it again just in case. Uh, right. What else can I build before I head into the shroud? Uh, we've got building scaffolds. Ooh. Storage, the glider, shroud wood. I'll have to get into the shroud to get that. String and shroud spores. I don't have enough spores yet. Rides comfort, increasing the duration. So wood logs for the table. Same with the chairs. Illumination. I have enough wax for a candle. I should probably make a door. Yeah, let's make a door. Uh, I have wood in here, so we'll grab that. I'm gonna grab the no, not the honey. I want the wax, not the honey. Okay, door. Wooden door. Crude wooden door. Proper wooden door. Crude wooden door. Let's start with a crude one. Uh, I need another window. Let's get a table. And I can't afford a chair, so I'm going to have to chop down another tree. Take that tree and that and that. And that, wait, can I target? No, I can't target the tree. <laughs> I can't focus on the tree. Okay, make a chair. Door's not wide enough. Ah, that's better. <sighs> yeah. I I am very partial to games that make decorative stuff matter. It's just fun. Like the fact that the rested buff is improved by me making that. Comfort level eight. Rested 13 minutes. Nice. Demon Works, I've played Eco. Uh the thing I was looking for every time I played Eco was. Has anyone made a combat mod where the animals and stuff attack you? <laughs> Which I know is totally counter to what Eco's whole shtick is, but I really wanted it.
meant because I'm sure in this era they didn't realize that having a candle beside your bed was a terrible idea. I'm having a candle beside my bed. Oh yeah, it is 7.29. I'll let you know in one minute what the temperature is. Oh, I made three bolts. Luxury. Okay. It is a pity I can't sit at the seat though. Hopefully that's the thing that'll change. Alright. Uh, backpack. Okay, I've placed all the things. I'm going to put all this stuff away in a chest that I put inside this time. It is now 7.30. And the temperature is... 30.3 degrees Celsius inside my shed. So, yes, I will burn. All right. You know what? Uh, let's start another prediction for... Let's say 32 this time. 32 by 0800. Uh, what was I making? Storage. I need more string. Oh, actually I might make a couple of chests, yeah. And then we put... Chests under the stairs. Wait, where's my other chest? Why didn't it go to my hopper? Okay, we'll build... put building materials in one of them. So that's all the rock and timber and twigs and stuff. I put... I'll put cloth and string in there too, yeah. And then I'll put all the food related stuff in the other one. Purple berries, red mushrooms, grilled lean meat can go on my hot bar. Don't think meat rots. I don't think it does anyway. Scrap arrow, flint arrows. Oh, I'm just going to chuck these in for now. I don't have a bow yet. Okay, so I had a storage plan and it's all just gone away straight as soon as I have my second container. Perfect. Typical. Oh wait, clear storage to pick up. Oh, I have to... I thought that was going to automatically clear my storage to pick it up. Not telling me to clear it before I pick it up. Maybe that's the spot to have the food. Honey, red mushroom. Very red mushroom meat, and that's all other stuff for making things, so. Check that there. Check the stone and string in there. Check the food in here. Cool. Now I'm good to get out of here. Close my door. Go back inside, maximize my resting buff, and then leave. Oh yeah, humidity-wise it's not too bad so far today. 
Um, it's kind of in the mid range <laughs> at 46%. Uh, yes, my high is supposed to be something around 42 today. Yes. And I don't think it's meant to be particularly dry either. I think it's meant to be fairly humid. Like somewhere in the, somewhere around 50 to 60% humidity. Which obviously is not swamp level humid, but it is, it is enough to make it uncomfortable. Thanks them Stardust. Thank you so much for 20 months. It is the 26th already in Australia. It is 7.30 in the morning. Right, down into the shroud I go. Do do do. I mean, I'm, I'm very near the ocean, so the humidity doesn't ever tend to get particularly low, unless there's a very strong westerly wind. Blowing hot, dry air off the mm, hot, dry inland. We are hungry. We had to destroy the bridge and withered our connection to supplies. But it worked. We haven't seen any more scavengers. The Cinder Vault and those within it are safe and should remain so. If we are to avoid starvation, we may have to take our chances in the horrible shroud. Either choice is certain death. I will take all that. And then I will... Punchy punch. Fur patch, eh? Okay. Down I go. Sort out. Must keep an eye on the timer. And probably kill that dude would be a good idea. Oh, I got a ring. This hourglass capsule replenishes your remaining time in shroud. It's consumed upon use and cannot be stashed in the inventory. Ah. Uh. Well, I don't want to consume that then. Drown survival flask. Whoa! Ow. That is making my time run out very quickly. Am I standing in that area? feeling that thing was going to explode, but I was like, oh, maybe I have to hit it to make it explode. Did not expect proximity mine. Or shield. Uh, character. No? Skills? Backpack? Equip. Equip the shield. Yay. And this is how I get bones. Oh yeah, I have a ring to put on. I have to put it on, don't I? Ring of the El Sigil Ring of the Edgel Elder Guard. Eight stamina, ten health. Nice. Is that a no, that's a barrel? It's not a chest. Uh, on Monday, Kapak is going to waste so much time bashing all of these things. Let's see if I can get this bag. Bags seem to give me a decent amount of cloth. 
though that didn't seem to. So I'm going to wander out of the shroud because my timer is running low. And how much space do I have? I don't have space. Off I go again. Yeah, it'll be Capac Smash. Oh yeah, Shroud Liquid. Forgot about these. There were Shroud Logs I needed to collect too. Um... What was it that had the logs? Was it these? Might have been. Because there were... Oh, it was, um... The grappling? No. It was either the grappling hook or the parachute-y, wing -y thing. Oh, what? That is not how you get shroud logs. Oh, I remember the shroud logs. They're actually, like, the old trees. chair will give me something nice. Nope. Multi-hit. Yeah. Some runes from ya. What does this give me? This just wood? I think your character class is probably Vandal. There we go. There's the shroud wood. That's what I was after. on the tents gives you cloth. At some point, I will probably collect those, even though there's that part of me that's like, oh, but if I get rid of all the tents, I have no, like, <laughs> location markers to help me travel. Because they're kind of a nice point of interest. A point of... Note. Thanks, Josh. I, I did notice I could do more than 90 degree, like other than 90 degree rotations with placements of buildings, but can I do that with blocks too? All right, I'm going to go uh, drop off all this stuff and then we'll head back down. <laughs> Map markers, compass, point of interest, it doesn't matter, you'll still get lost. It's true! But maybe the the more of them I have, the less... Oh, I, that's not going to happen either. That's not true. I'm still going to get lost. Doesn't matter how many. So if I push past my stamina bar, I think I wear it down until I rest properly again. So you can see about almost a third of it's gone. If I go and rest... Is my stamina bar back? Is that full? Or do I have to eat? Maybe I have to eat. Thanks, pet player. Thank you for seven months. Uh, 
Runes attract and store magical energy from all around them, used to enhance weapons. Uh. So, I was coming back here because I also wanted to check this. I don't think the blocks allow you to... Josh, were you trying to say that the building... Oh, wait, I need materials so I can actually place something. Uh. Yeah, there's, it's only the 90 degree rotations on the blocks, but the stuff like tables and things, you can rotate smaller amounts. Unless I turn off snapping? No. I'm pretty sure it's a very... F I'm, I got the impression it's a fixed tiny grid for the building pieces, but the decorative parts can be rotated within that. Because, yeah, there's, there's only... 90 degree rotations with the building parts. Yeah, I think this has a global grid. Yes, Johnny H. Similar to Station Ears. Alright. Let's go back down. Oh, wait. Dump off some of my stuff. How do I get my stamina bar back? Uh, shift R, deposit stacks. There we go. It makes me so happy that more games are doing things in such a way that they actually have inventory controls early on, rather than adding them in later updates. Uh, I thought I depleted my stamina a bit when I ran and I kept running after it got to there. If I keep going from here, I think it depletes it, see? Oh no. Yeah, it's now gone down a bit. Has it gone down further? Can't tell. It's just a secondary bar. I thought I just got doom music. And I thought I heard a wolf. Oh, let's go. Gotta get through here so I can unlock some things. I'm talking about the um, circular stamina meter in the center of the screen when I sprint. I was about to say the circular stamina bar and then realized that that was just nonsense. Clang, clang, clang. To all who set their eyes upon my wondrous... No, let me allow... Allow me to begin again. To all travellers, I have conquered this terrain with my greatness. Oh, I'm afraid that's not right either. The bridge is nearly finished and I cannot find the words to express my joy. Confound it! We How lucky we had a bountiful mine so close by for mat materials and ore. One thing I do know, I'll name this bridge Braylon. After my dearly departed fifth aunt. 
Though if she were still alive, I'm not sure she would be flattered, for her and the bridge share not just the name, but a brash nature. Punchy punch, punch, punch. Okay. Guess I'm going this way. <laughs> so what am I doing? I'm trying to uh, explore a little bit so that in the hope that I can unlock some more building parts. Find some more materials and that sort of thing so I can build more interesting looking buildings. Oh dear. You have a ranged thing. And also potentially... Um, Unlock some better weapons and magic. Let's not have traps that I might catch myself in. Dark. Um, am I allowed to place extra flame altars already? Ah, huh, I am. Interesting. I guess I should get myself some stones. Hopefully so. there are some loose ones around here because I've forgotten to make myself a pickaxe. Suppose I should head in the vague direction of my quest marker. Place two to start, four once you upgrade your flame. Cool. I'm not sure where I'd want to place my second one. I mean, I assume I can pick them up, so it's probably not worth holding on to it. I can probably just place it wherever I think might be useful. Even if it's only short term use. I saw a pickup park on there. Weird. Very weird. Okay, so this was... If I remember correctly from the demo, this was where I was going to have to get some fighting done. Wishes can conceal you when you're within them. Press C to crouch and hide. Use them to sneak up on enemies. you die. Oh, nope. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't too bad. By my standards. 
Could have been a lot worse. Oh, I forgot about the explodey barrels. I am not going to swing and kill myself on those. I think I did that during the demo. <laughs> the cinder vessel broke down during testing. The rat I used inside was charred by the coalescent flame. A bright flash and nothing. Thankfully, the side effect of blindness was only temporary. I've acquired a new subject, another rat, Igni. Hopefully, our path to salvation. I cannot accept more setbacks. I will ensure that the cinder vessel holds as if my life depended on it. It may well. Balthazar. What can I find around here in the darkness? Um, I don't know if you can get a rat pet from one of the vessels called Igni. If there's anything in any of these, I think they're all just empty. But there was a ladder over here, I just noticed. Just touch the barrel. No, I'm not touching the barrel. By the ancients, I've done it! Equilibrium! The subject sleeps, yet can be awakened. They are dead, yet alive! The subject has not decayed, is, is untouched by the coarse flow of time. A flame soul in a mortal body. Igni serves as proof. We can survive. We can endure. These cinder vessels will be our only chance amidst the shroud. We have no other choice. Oops. Uh, eh, whatever. I've got enough swords. Speed up the breaking of things. Yay! Yeah, grenades. The cool thing about the grenades in this is the voxels are all deformable. Which means the grenades make holes. Sizable holes. didn't work like I thought it would. Yeah. Killed you anyway, mate. Ooh, that's a lot of metal scraps. It's done! The cinder vessel is a delicate contraption, still volatile yet brimming with potential and hope. The first human to enter will be our true prototype, the kindling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until roused anew, lest he slips into eternity. May the ashes of one age sustain the seeds of the next. Alright, blacksmith. Awaken. Oswald Anders. So now, I have a blacksmith. Also, a door. With a hidden chest that requires a lockpick, which I need to make the blacks use the blacksmith to make, I imagine. Blacksmith to make. Oh, there's a chest over there. I'm not sure that was worth the effort. <laughs> You need to rest, you can fast travel back to your home by opening your map, navigate to map and select your home. 
That is good to remember, and I will probably forget. Can you make lockpicks from inventory? Oh, you can. Thank you. Let's see if I can open that chest then. And I got another hatchet. I think I might need a weapons crate back home. See if there's anything around here. And then I'll head on home. What is this? Uh, flame shrine. Oh. Ancient Vault Blacksmith. Okay, all right, that's just because I'm slightly inside the area that's inside the, ma the mound there. Oh, honey. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, yeah. What? What was the... Did I say 0800? I did. Ah, it is, it is 0800, uh, and the thermometer says 30.9 degrees Celsius, so it did not reach 32 degrees, yet. So it is, nope, just melt. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be a game that I will probably continue in winter when it's getting cold in my shed too. Will it, wa how warm will my PC make my room? <laughs> Um, okay, so, do I leave it at 32 for the next half hour, or do I push it to 33? Let's be weird and go in the middle. 32.5. Ah. Uh, Yes. Voting on my misery. The best option I had. <laughs> uh, it doesn't get especially cold over here, but uh, during winter it's not uncommon for it to be... Uh... I might build a flame altar here. Not uncommon for it to be like single digit Celsius inside my shed. And that's where the discomfort comes from. It's not that it's cold outside, it's that it's cold, it's just as cold inside as it is out. Alright, so now I can fast travel back home, and then I can fast travel over here where there is a bunch of ore. Yeah, my, my shed is not a proper house or proper structure of any uh, sort, really. It's very much um, of the just barely functional type. Flame away. I will make a chest for weapons in a second. I need to keep the lockpick on me. I need to grab some regular wood and some of that string, I think.
Nope, I need twigs, not wood. If I if I knew my way around construction and it was uh something I thought I could get done in a reasonable time frame. One thing I would consider would be to um, rip off the, like, take out the internal walls, like a, a drywall or whatever you want to call it, depending on where you're from in the world. Um, the gyprock. And replace it and check that there is actually insulation in the walls, because I'm not sure that there is. I am not convinced in the slightest that there is. I think all my tools get repaired when I get home. Interesting. Should I put the stamina food there? So I can consume it quickly and get stamina back. They repair when you interact with the workbench. Oh, thank you. That is very good to know. Is this going to increase my health at all? No, I'm going to have to eat. And let's grab some of this meat out and we'll cook it. I mean, even if there is any insulation in the wall, it's, it's not doing its job. Uh, I think the reason to have them have a durability bar is so that you have a reason to continue to return home. If you have no sort of durability to things like this, why ever come back home? Uh, that's the main reason I've always assumed that games keep durability on tools and weapons and the like. It's literally just to make the character travel home. Um, right. Still not getting health back. Bandages take to make torn cloth and string. Okay, I need a little expansion on my house, or should I just summon the dude out here? Oh, wait, I think I need to make the summoning thing, don't I? Scaffold, glider... I might have enough to make both of these, the glider and the grappling hook now. Summoning stuff. Yeah, oh, right. It is made from a twig. Thank you, Corbin Dallas. Berries for health regen. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much for the thousand bits. Uh, right. Crafting, summoning stuff. Is he going to be okay standing outside? Oswald! Hey! Hooray! Really? Right now? Okay, he needs a forge. Just needs some charcoal. Need to make a charcoal kiln first. Break 
a leg. Oh, several. <laughs> uh, I would like to have a pickaxe, stone and string. Um, why, why stream from a shed? Because the shed is kind of just what I call it for a couple of reasons. Um, it's the shed because that's literally what the council calls it. Oh, I forgot the string. On the planning documents that I, on the actual rare planning documents that I could find. Uh, it's literally just, list, just listed as shed. Doesn't say where it is. Doesn't say how big it is. Doesn't say anything about it. But that's what it's listed as. Uh, and it is a freestanding... <laughs> the real estate agent called it a freestanding studio. What? Dirt? I think I just dropped the rock into the ground by messing with the voxels instead of messing with the rock. Whoopsie. <laughs> yeah, it was used as an Airbnb. The, the previous um, owner had rented out the house and it separately or had rented out the house and then the person who rented the house had rented as an airbnb basically it had a a double bed in here and a little table and a fence that divided the yard but it made a lot more sense for me to use it as my office because then my partner can enjoy spending time in the house without having to worry about making noise. No, it has a, an ensuite. It also has an ensuite. And a little kitchenette thing, which is why I can refill my water bottle while I'm at... While I'm... Like, without leaving earshot of the mic. You know what I mean when, when I'm saying that? Even though what I said just made little sense. Um, alright. Buddy. My hammer will fix it. Craft me a charcoal kiln. Never force it. Just get a bigger hammer. We started the inventory, yes. right it needs the dirt as well to make the charcoal okay uh now i'm going to jump across here and see if i do collect metal from that thing with my pickaxe hold down mining with your targeting mineable item multi-clicking does attack maneuver well, that explains why I was attacking the trees, not chopping them down. Oh, this is flintstone. I knew it was some resources that I resource that I was going to need at some point. I think I need this maybe for arrows. They do have a mining and cutting animation. I just did it wrong. Admittedly, it was fun chopping down the trees by dancing around them. Thanks, Terminator. Thank you for the Prime sub. How much of this should I bother collecting right now when I don't actually know what it's used for?
Oh, hatchets won't do the felling animation anyway. Okay, cool. So I was just using the wrong tool rather than... Well, I was using the wrong tool and the wrong control rather than just the wrong control. Brilliant. Alright, well, I'm just going to head back home now. What's over there? Bridge construction report. Oi! It does look like it could be a thing in general that this might have a uh, cave and things. What are you oying me about? Watch out, sparks flying. Took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny, and they call you Flameborn. Alright. Cleansing fire. Ember Vale can still be saved. Where there's ash, there's embers. The shroud suffocates the valleys, so seek the elixir well with your new gear and raise the root of our misery. Ignite the depths and set this evil ablaze. Huh. Rest up and eat well. Yep. Okay, good. You've said all the things. And still got a few minutes left before we get that. Uh, axe. Craft. Since the game apparently wants me to. <laughs> exactly. If it wasn't for this weak and puny person, you'd still be in a jar. Oh, I'm doing more damage with the axe too. And a lot quicker. <laughs> I should have done this sooner. If I was being efficient. But I'm never efficient, so I don't care. I'm also going to go kill this wolf. I think the wolf was stuck in the wall. I don't know if there's more yield. Seems to be about the same. Oh, beehive. Oh yeah, I should make a wand too. So many things to make. Wand. Simple magic staff made from calcified bone, rudimentary bit of face staffs, can cast spells by using spell charges and mana. Magical wand. Oh. So the staff is the ranged weapon, the wand is the mid range weapon? I want both of these? Staff uses ammo, wand uses mana. I want the wand. So I can probably leave the summoning staff at home. I need that on my person. I think the charcoal should be done. So, what can you make for me? I need 10 metal scraps for the forge. How many metal scraps do I have? 16. Oops, not the key I wanted to press. Alright, 
right, so that's how I make metal sheets. So let's uh, see what he wants. Do I have to make these things? I don't want to make all these different things. Does seem to want me to, though. Rising fighter set. Ah, yes. This is what I'm wanting to shoot for. I want to get enough stuff for the metal sheet to the metal sheets, the animal fur and all that, so I can get this rising fighter set of armor. Because that seems like it'll be a much nicer improvement to my armor. So let's get some sheets made. And then we need to go hunting for some more metal scraps. Oops. Press the wrong key. I just pressed R instead of Shift R. And I think I just duplicated stuff across the two. Because I'm a terrible person. Money goes in here. Got enough berries and things. Let's go. Hey. You've awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in the springlands. Did I craft bow and arrow? No, I did not. Uh, where am I trying to go to now? Over here. Or over here. Right. Um, I think I'm going to head up this way, even though it's not towards the quest. Oh no, wait, I need to make the... I need to make the stupid grappling hook and thing. What do I need for those again? Need to find... Okay, shroud wood, animal fur, string, and shroud spores. And then I'm going to have to find some more metal scraps. Shroud spores. I've already forgotten what the other bits are. <laughs> shroud wood. Oh, right. I could have crafted a sword instead of the club and he might have been happy with me. Maybe, yeah. Uh, animal fur. You can pin recipes? Ah... That's a very nice feature. That's cool. Thank you for telling me that. I did not notice the little pop-up. It just wasn't a thing that even occurred to me to look for. Thanks, Ninja Dow. Thank you for the prime sub. Uh, yeah, Shadow, you can have traders who act as both um, what have you got for me? crafting and things like that. Like this guy. Oswald. Don't waste your and I think there are five of them that you need to find. Kill the sheep with the magic. 
or the goat, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Wand needs an accuracy boost. I think I was slightly outside of the range of the wand there. I think that was the problem. Oh wait, I can't go up there because I need the metal first. Alright, down into the shroud. See if there's any metal I can pick up there. The birds are excited this morning. Making a lot of noise. Wait a second, if I bash... That sword, do I get nothing? Scraps from it? No. What a pity. I really hope I can climb back up that. I just slid down. I'll go this path. Location is above. Whoa! Ah! have eaten then. <laughs> Ow. I was trying to regen my health. I thought I had enough space. I should have looked better. All right. Get my stamina back and then let's use the, um, the glider. Wait, how do I use the glider? Oh wait, I can just walk down here. And I think the berry is going to get my health back to full. Also, have I somehow ended up somewhere different? It does appear so. right near the explodey thing, which I am going to prod at with this. 
There we go. Can I whack this with? She sort of do. Come on, something metal. Give me some metal. Oh. Ah, oh, mistimed. Uh, it looks like that little grey bar under his health is his stamina bar, so if I overwhelm that, they then stun if I, like if I keep hitting their shield until it's overwhelmed. Um, Astron, I, I don't think that's a fair comment to say about Valheim. Valheim has not been given up on. Do I agree with all of the decisions they've made regarding their development? No, but I don't think it's fair to say they've given up on it. What happens if the Estrada timer runs out? Uh, bad wrong? I think I start taking health damage. Or maybe I just straight up die? I'm not sure. There we go. <laughs> Chat saying into insta death. Great. In. Let's see if I can get my stuff back. I think this is the correct path this time. The other way seemed to not end well for me. Oh, deadly shroud. No. Oh. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was so bad. Holy cow, that just tanked my meter so fast. Oh, 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 oh that was so close. Oh, man. That was ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Also, uh, it's only reached 31.5. Seems like the temperature rise in my shed is a little bit slower than I had feared. Okay, back down we go. Maybe that way is instant death. Maybe I should go back to going the other way and this time perhaps use weapons rather than magic, which I am apparently terrible with. Oh, 
I mean, that's what I just did, M. Fury. I, I just ran into a high-level high shrouded area. It was bad. Ow. Easy blocks quick. Oof. Okay. Those guys are tough. These guys are proper tough. Where am I going to go get metal from then? Hmm. I have no skill points. Hmm. Maybe the other side, maybe if I go over the bridge actually. Okay, well that's at least a little bit quicker. Can I grab everything quickly? Yep. Let's grab this loot while I'm here. And those guys seem to be ignoring me right now, so I'm just going to take advantage of that. Oh, I got some tar. Mine the reawakening vessels. Okay. Uh, we'll do that. Just gonna grab some mycelium while I'm here. And get some metal scraps too. That actually got me a decent number. Let's do this one. That's gotten like 10 metal scraps. Yeah. Pickaxe might be faster. It could be. It could be. It's probably better since I stand still while doing it. What is going to happen when I break this giant urn? If I break this giant urn. Stamina maximum increased. All oh, right, the spark I got can upgrade my home altar. I forgot about that. 
much more of this can I... Oh, Charlie. Surely you can figure out that door, girl. Never mind this. No. There you go. Good girl. Figured out the door. Oh. <laughs> Just turned my off saying, no, she didn't. <laughs> she got help. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Can I just attract one of you? I reckon I can fight one of you. Oh, or two of you. Yeah, I need to leave. hope this is the right way. Lucrative trip into the shroud, though. Twenty-nine, twenty-eight, twenty-seven, twenty-six. Down to 21. Oh, that's quite the shake and noise, Charlie. Thank you. I'm presuming I can't fast travel when I'm in the shroud. Because that would be kind of cheaty. Right? Let's put some more... Wait, no. Let's make... Grappling hook. Need some string. Uh, where is string? Not in that one. In this one. I have exactly enough. There we go. Got the grappling hook. Now at least I can go the up the other path as well. Charlie, stop licking your paw. What did it ever do to you to be so doing such horrible things to it? Commune with the flame. No, I don't have a shroud core. I got a some flame thing. I didn't think it was it. What was it called? A shroud crawl. Oh, it's got something else. I got a spark. Not a shroud core. Okay, strengthen the flame. Animal fur, shroud liquid, bone, red mushrooms, and resin. Time in the shroud goes up to six minutes. Ah. Okay, let's do that. Let's see if this has the thing where I can favorite it. No, it does not. <laughs> resin, red mushroom, bones. Resin. Bones. Red mushrooms. Yeah, if you can have the pinning for the other stuff, totally have it for this too. Shroud liquid and animal fur. Animal fur, shroud liquid. And now I get six minutes. Just given me, which should make progressing through that part a little bit easier.
Oh, I did it again. Oh, why? Why am I like this? It's on. Keep pressing R instead of Shift R. Uh, I think that's fine though. We'll put those out in the weapons chest out the front though. Resin, dirt, tar, mycelium, twigs. Oh, and bones. I don't know what skills I'm going for. I still don't know. <laughs> I still haven't decided. I'm thinking magic, because I like magic. Even though I'm not using magic right now, but it's just because I seem to kind of suck with the magic that I've got. Why has this got... Oh, my glow and warmth reach further into the darkness thanks to you, Flameborn. I am strong enough to protect your home should you choose to expand it. Good, good. Uh, okay. Move the runes into the weapon storage. I suppose that makes some sense. Guess I should also consider working on a work area for the, the blacksmith. But I was hoping to unlock... The next thing before that. Oh, I will go to... Might go over to this thing here and then I'll head towards this bridge construction report marker. Yeah, it might be worth reversing the keybinds for making R... Drop all to match and shift R to just drop all. As that's, for me at least, the more likely way that I'm going to use them. going to go and see if I can see how much metal I get from mining those pods. This may well be worth my time. Assuming it's going to break at any point. Come on. There we go. Hello? Loot? Nope, I didn't want the anvil. Three metal scraps. Oof, that's a lot of work for three metal scraps. Bees, you jerks, you're losing your home. Out. Yeah, that's right. What do you think of that now? Huh? Huh? Oh, wolf. Yeah, bees are still following me. <laughs> I thought they would have given up by now. They may have made a more formidable enemy than I intended. The road is blocked. A grappling hook is required to cross. Well, 
Isn't that lucky? I have one. Except that's not where I'm heading. I'm heading this way. Oh, let's get these bees too. Shroud Pond, eh? Small flint mine. Well, this expedites breaking this stuff, doesn't it? Using the correct tool for the job. The earth is rich with minerals, mine ore veins with a pickaxe to obtain them. Certain ores can only be found inside the shroud. Good, good. Is there something beyond this? Looks like there might be. Oh no. It's just the color of the color of the stone. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna head back to this road blockage. Is that a functioning crane? I don't think so. Don't think there are movable parts in this game. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> well, flint up there. Wolf somewhere nearby. Ooh, got some... Actual raw wolf meat this time, not just bones. I see bees. I wonder if I can make it across there with my uh my wingsuit. My guess is no. I don't think I'm high up enough, but maybe if I climb a little bit. Oh. Okay. Let's go up here. And then I'm going to jump down. Or I may be able to walk down. As this may be the intended path. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the rolling up the hill is interesting. It's an interesting mechanic. An unexpected one. Got myself a spark, though. What is that? That looks like death. That does not look friendly. Maybe a Balrog, yeah. Alright. Let's go explore this castle thing then. I don't have any means to find out right now because I don't... I have no way to get across to where it was. I mean, unless my, um, rolling up hillsides works for cliffs. Oh, these are higher level wolves. Ow. Ow. 
Ow, ow. Eat. Get health back. Flame Shrine, Altar of Flame. Is this a cult? Are we part of a cult? Um, no. No, I would never do anything cult-like. No. Ooh. What are you? You're not friendly. Oh, jeez, you are not friendly. Yeah, stunned ya. What are you? Doesn't say. And their little camp. Whatever that guy is. Just wood from that. What about this? Same. Animal fur. This is a cool little cave. Kind of inspires me to try and make a base that looks like that. Dwarf Yeti? Yeah, I was thinking something along the lines of... I don't know. Um, like a Yeti type? Yeah, something like that. Hobgoblin. Uh, what's over here? There was more fur on the other table. Oh, okay. Good. Good eye. Bugbear, that's the that's what I was looking for. Thank you, Codon. Thank you. That was gonna bug me. Anything in here? That appears to be a no. Yeah, you look like a more stout bugbear. And if It's going alright so far. I mean, aside from all the death. Either that or he's an angry Ewok. Ow! Kind of an Ewok monkey? Me, a, no, a baboon Ewok. That's what it is. Oh, jeez. Did you just body slam me, buddy? Couldn't tell. Ooh, short sword. Short sword, 14 damage. Spike club, 17. Yeah. Having a look around the outside before I head up. And there's a hook point. Fireballs, staff charges. Okay. Cool. Apparently I missed the ladder. Nothing down there. Nothing down there. Ah! 
I wonder. How long does this take to break? And will I be able to pick up the metal scraps when it does? Or will I get cooked by the, <laughs> the hot there? Yeah. I think I might just leave that. Oh, looks like we got another spark. No, that's a different thing. Ancient Vault, the Hunter. Ooh. Okay. Ow, he's getting healed. No, I was trying to run away. I, oh, hope. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> how very convenient. Testing out that respawn. Yeah. Yeah, that's totally what I was doing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get away from your healing friend. Yeah. Yes, that's how we do it. am I going to find around here and how many more bad guys? <laughs> oh. Okay, so there are some other ways up. Uh, this and Pal World are very different games. This act... This has, like some fairly like you can do detailed builds and if you enjoy building I dare say this is the far better game for you if you enjoy collecting everything in sight and uh, that side of things then you're going to probably enjoy Power World more but they are very different games with very different focuses yes both survival games but beyond that different I suppose the combat mechanics have some similarities too I just love him tripping over every time I walk across one of these gaps That didn't work. Ugh. What's up here? Does not appear to be anything at all. Okay. Oh, 
further inward I go. Unless there was more stuff around here that I missed. I think there was. I think I checked this spot out properly. Yeah. I believe uh, I read a thing on one of the game journal type websites. They mentioned that the goal for the developers was to be out of early access within a year. Um, I think we've all heard that story before. <laughs> so, hopefully they managed to achieve it, but big honk and rock assault to go with that one. Is that something I pick up? No. Oh. Oh. Well, this looks unfun. Oh, no, not too bad. I was a bit worried that my roll w and my jump wouldn't be enough. Okay, I'm going to have to grapple across there, but let's just check out these other side rooms first. Smashy, smashy. Three little things above that door and treasure beyond it. What are the three little things I have to do to open that door? Aha! There are three things over here. There are three lights, as Kapak likes to say. But that's the first button. Yeah. One of these days, one of these games is going to require interpretive dance to solve puzzles. And that is when we know that uh, ChatGPT has gone too far. I know there are four lights. I said there were three because there are three in this. And also because I knew it would annoy some people. <laughs> Was there another button on the pillar? Oh, there's a light on the pillar. No button, though. Oop. Oop. I did not make a bow or any arrows. I've picked up a bunch of arrows. I haven't made any. Probably use the pickaxe for this. Ooh. Hello. Ominously opening door. I think I missed by going that way first. Here's not. Aha! I have found the hunter! A 
Netherlands scree. All right, nice. Anything up top of interest? That would be a no. At least not until I've got a better pickaxe so that I can mine the metals more quickly. Because mining those with this pickaxe just feels... Yeah, not fun. Yeah. Not the worst way to break things. I don't appear to be getting loot. I wonder if it's the magic destroys the loot. Oh no, got loot that time. Alright. Back on my search for buttons. Apparently that is a button as well. That's two. There is a grappling... Ow! Whoops! A grappling hook up there. Ow! Well... That happened. That was a deserved death. Maybe. I was trying to get up to the area that was up the top to see if there was another button up there. I'm not sure how to do it. I'm... This is an area up there. Maybe starting up here would be smarter. Oh no. Is there a way I can control my swing? Oh, because there is a button up there. Uh, can I grapple from here? Can I reach it? No! Right, let's try this. No! Hope. Right, I guess I have to get onto the climbing things on the side, but getting the angle right for that would be tricky. Oh, no! Ow! Oh. I think I ran out of stamina. I gotta do it when I've got full stamina. Yeah. Yeah. I did it. Oh. Oh. I could have shot it with a bow, but I don't have a bow and it's sometimes fun to do these things in other ways and it's nice to know that they did come up with multiple ways to solve that wolf snarls longbow oh look at that i just got a nice bow OK, 
Okay. Uh, all right. Backpack. Bow. Uh, let's swap out the sword. Sword. Someone said there was a grapple point above the things. I just want to check it out. Is there a grapple point up here? One up there. Why is there a grapple point up there? Where would that lead you? You can equip a hot. Then use Q to target and fire instead of putting bow on hotbar. Ah. Cool. Why is that there? Where is that going to help me get to? Oh, I guess up here. That would be the obvious answer. I forgot that that style of hook you pull toward rather than swing a across. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's an unexpected grapple. From me spamming E. Alright, let's smash these and then we'll go up. is quite the substantial view. Huh. It is very foggy down there. It's almost like it's enshrouded or something. Now that's a leap of faith. Oh, you definitely want to have a lot of stamina to do that jump. It is very tempting. It's perhaps tempting enough that I will do it in one direction or another. Um, can I climb up on the top of that bit? Or way up there? It's going to be amusing when Kapak finds out this place and that there's nothing really up here. <laughs> uh, can't see anything up on that roof. It looks empty. All right, what is to the north on my map? I do not know. So, let's find out. One, two, three, hut. Oh dear. Bad guys. Oh, level five bad guys. Oh, this could be bad. This could be real bad. Oh, jeez. Okay, yep, real bad. Bad, 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 bad. Oh, I have so dropped in behind enemy lines. Oh, this is not where I want to be. Ow. 
I'm gonna die. This is really bad. I'm assuming I need to get out of combat before I can fast travel. Nope! I just heard that arrow. Oh, there are so many bad guys around. Are any of them actually following me right now? Can they follow me up here? At least near the respawn point now. <laughs> so that's something. Okay. Let's eat some meat. And some berries. And try and get some hit points back. Much better. Okay. I'm not ready for level 5 enemies yet. I guess I should try and enter the elixir well like the game is telling me to do. <laughs> Where is that? Oh. Down there. Right, so I have to go back and fight those guys down there. Sure. Can I quick... Can I quick travel to flame shrines? No. Um... Hmm. I want to head my southwest this way. It's almost like I have a marker on my HUD telling me where I should be going. Eh, I'm not too worried about a random test I missed. If it was Capac, he'd be upset, but I I don't I don't get worried about. 100%ing things. Ow. Man. there confidently I think if I jump from up here I should make it maybe maybe I'll go over crit. a little bit further down first it says location above now it says location below Okay, so it is, it is where I was fighting those guys before. I can't really 100% this game anyway. Everything outside your build zones resets when you reload the game. So, one of the things that I'd read in a comment somewhere, someone complaining that they couldn't really play this co-op because everything they did that they their friends then couldn't do. If everything resets when I reload the game, that's fine, because that means I can play this same save with TFA and Capac on Monday. I need not worry. I think I'm just going to walk down most of the way to try and save stamina on landing, but maybe not. Ah, oh, let's go. Here we are. 
read. On Elixir Well, the springs of... The springs? The springs of the Elixir. Another Elixir Well is built on the backs of workers, slaving away tirelessly to gouge a tunnel into the earth. The plans for this construction are otherworldly. The chasm spits fumes with every jab. Thin veils of mist cause headaches and irritate the eyes. All for the elixir. I hope this foul, el foul air will not spread to lone thistle. Are you mineable? Oh, it's mycelium. Okay. Interesting. All right, buddy. Ow. Thought I could make it through his stamina. Backpack full? No. Why? I know why, but why? Oh, I guess I gotta go home and come back. Can't be going around doing this without the ability to loot. Oh, I can't fast travel from here. <laughs> uh. That's my lack of planning. Well, at least it doesn't take me too long to get back here, I guess. Also, it's only reached 32.3 in here so far, and it feels a lot hotter in this room than that. I think there's a hot breeze coming in. Need to import the correct notification for your backpack. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Uh, dried fur. Interesting. Uh, that can go in here. Grab on that. Chuck all those things away. That can go away. My seaweed is a building material, so it probably shouldn't go away here. I'm going to grab those berries and max my stack. Should probably cook this meat and keep it with me. Fireflies need to go away. That mycelium goes away. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I know. The inventory full sound is annoying. That's why I did it sometimes. Uh, right, so arrows. What arrows do I want to bring with me? I'll bring just the flint arrows. Oh, I might use more. Let's use that. Uh, no, no. Just bring the flint ones from now. Uh, ditch the rusty sword... Let's do some cooking, so I've got some extra health while I'm in there. Oh, good point. I can summon the hunter, and I presume they will give me access to something that's useful. Like meat? Maybe they bring meat? See, uh, I need my summoning stick. Hey. All right, what do you got? 
Uh, yes, you want shelter, I know. Surviving together. I've survived long enough to know when there are others like me. We need to do more than persevere. We must settle down. Grow crops, revive the land. There's a place I remember. Another ancient vault was built. You should search it. Finding salt. There's many things we lack without a... Oh, at least sleep yipping. Without a steady supply of salt, it'll be challenging to preserve fur. I might not be from here, but I know the land well. Here, I'll mark a location for gathering salt in your journey. Don't disappoint. So what can you make? A small backpack. Why, hello. <laughs> the timing on that. Drying rack. Animal furs, resin torch. Wax torch. Scout armor set and carpets. So I'm going to have to make the drying rack to get the dried fur, I presume. I don't think I picked up any dried fur. Or I picked up two. Picked up two. Um, I'll deal with that after. I'm going back down into the place. Is that still a meat... That's still a meat buff. Is this going to be a different meat buff? No, it's the same one. Okay. At least it didn't let me eat it because I had already used a similar buff. It is very convenient that there's this little patch here. I get the feeling they planned that. If Charlie is dreaming of squirrels, she is a very creative dog, having never seen a squirrel in her life. Uh-oh. Multiple bad dudes. She does... <laughs> She does, however, know what a rabbit looks like. And oh boy, is it um, challenging to keep her away from said rabbits when on a walk. Hello? Maybe the pickaxe will hit it? Yep. There's a, there's a part of our walk that we go on that's actually got an off-lead dog park at it, but I don't let her go off-lead because there are cliffs, but there are also rabbits. And the combination terrifies me because I feel like she would chase after the rabbits and they would stop before the cliff and she would not. Ow. Ow. No, stuck. Okay, it's nothing over here. She's also um, scarily interested in cats. Location reached. Okay, I guess I'm going down. I hear button mashing. Hey, I only button mash every time I fight. It's not that often. Ooh, Shepard's lightning. So, I've been growing a whole bunch of veggies in a couple of different veggie gardens, and the possum keeps eating them all. It makes me very tempted to see if Charlie will scare off the possum if I leave her out of her crate at night. 
My worry is that she might not scare it off and instead get in a fight with it, which would be very, very bad. Okay, that's that horrible thing I was near before. So that is not something I would want to have happen to the possum or to the dog. Here, that did nothing. Give me scrap metal. There we go. All right, I may need to go back up and refresh my time before I pop down here to actually fight this thing. Um... I don't actually know whether our possums... Our, our possums have giant, like, big claws and are pretty nasty. Like, American opossums are still pretty bad on that front too. Like, they're still wild animals, they're... <laughs> they're a bit more accustomed to getting in fights than my d very domesticated dog. Where did I just go, and how do I get back? I may have gotten myself trapped. I think I have to dig up. I was trying to take a shortcut and I think I just made it so much worse. What I'm thinking I might do to deal with the possum to see if it's concerned, if this annoys it enough, whoa, uh, is get a, get a solar powered sensor light. Some possums will be deterred by that, not all, but some will be, so I thought that might be a nice zero harm way to approach it to begin with. And if it doesn't work for the possum, I can always use it as a light for on my path out to the shed. <laughs> so that I can have a little bit of light on my way going to and from the house at night. There we go. I'm back. Oh. Oh dear. Ow! Kick me! Holy cow! That guy's mean! That guy's real mean! <laughs> uh... No, I don't think I parried that. I don't think I parried that at all. Okay.
Um, I wonder how effective these are against him. Yeah, I feel like this guy is a you have to dodge him sort of guy. You know, where is he? Oh no, I'm stuck against the wall! Whoa, where the heck am I? Ow! I ran out of stamina. Stamina, please. stuck on the wall <laughs> uh... hope yeah but the potions seem to take so long to consume that I'm just gonna get killed while I try and use them that's why I've been hesitant to actually <laughs> try and utilize them Uh... There we go. At least we got max stamina increase this time, I remembered. Yeah, the wall is the true enemy. I should also probably eat a berry just before I start so that I have regen active. Unfortunately, I don't have a rested buff, which probably would have been helpful as well. But I was pretty close to killing him, so I feel like I've got a good shot. Waiting for the berry to expire. Expired. Change to that. And let's shoot him a couple of times. Fortune Mace. What does that do? 21 damage. Yes, please. Shroud Root is the source of our misery. Destroy it with a felling axe and prosper. Hooray! 
no longer in the shroud. Well, that's a convenient mechanic since we can fast travel when we're no longer in the shroud. Hey, Jack. Uh, right. Cool. I think. I don't see any loot or anything around here. I'm, unless there's something up on this bit. This just seems like a place I'm going to get stuck. Uh-oh. Well, this isn't what I wanted. <laughs> uh, I want to see if I can get high enough that I stop being enshrouded. Because uh, then I'm just going to quick travel. <laughs> and go home. Like I should have done before. Enshrouded or entombed. Both. No, if I do... If I am stuck... It's not just five minutes I have to suffer, because I have to find my stuff afterwards. Which means I get stuck again. Just to die again. It is a, um, an unfortunate place to be. I really hope I can dig up. to get out of here in the remaining four minutes. Come on, stamina. Yeah, the clear area is up. That's why I'm going up. Don't fall down. I don't even know which the right direction is because it doesn't... There's nothing on my map to tell me. Oh! Jeez, I just fall, fell all the way down. going well. It's only two minutes left. Two minutes 40 left. Come on. Just waiting for my stamina to regen. If I ever get my stuff back, at least I've collected a decent amount of stone for doing some stone building. <laughs> Spidata says that in chat just as I'm saying it out loud. Uh.
Oh. Poo. Well, I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I'm out. The out is just up here. No. I'm going to slide down. Am I? No. Map. Quick travel. Quick travel. I'm not dead. I'm disappearing. <sighs> hey. I made it. The spark of knowledge has erupted within. Ooh, erupted. Ready yourself to unveil the secrets of our past. Find the two ancient obelisk of the Springlands and learn the world's fate. A story of rot and fire. Only those who seek the truth shall find it. Okay. The hunter is alive. Perhaps she can reveal a thing or two about survival in the Shrouded Lands. Yes, thank you. Okay. Those markers are a long way away. Story of Rot. Salt mine location. Story of fire. Ancient vault. The farmer. Righty doggy. <laughs> to err is human. To err opt is enshrouded. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I have a shroud core. Upgrade altar. 80 by 80 by 80. Can I move... This altar, extinguish the flame to remove your flame altar. But where areas not protected by the flame will be consumed by the shroud, placed items will be lost. So if I extinguish this flame, I can then build another one? Yes, I do intend to build them a home now. Where there's fire, there's hope. Amber Vale has changed. Before our time, a race of ancients built towers to survey the land. The ancient spires. One is close by. Climb it and discover the world anew. Thank you. That's that's what the flame told me. Because I was just thinking, I might want to build a house in a different spot. Rather than here. So maybe I should do a little bit of scouting and find a location for a home that I want to build in. Well, my thinking is I'll turn this one off. But because I've spent the point on this, does that mean it's gone? Can I downgrade this one? Or is that gone now? No, the other one says it's not upgraded. It says level one. Home level one. Home level two. It would appear that is an undoable thing from what I'm seeing right now. I... Extinguish the flame. Will I get the thing back? Let's find out. What the heck? Is there a save? <laughs> Don't think there's a way to do a separate save. Alright. We gotta figure these things out. Extinguish flame. Extinguish the flame will reset the currently protected area after some time or with the next start of the game. This altar is deactivated. The afterglow of the flame offers lingering protection that will wear off soon.
Nope, it's gone forever. That's not a good mechanism. That really needs to be fixed. <laughs> uh, just curious if I put it down, whether it's going to be a level two. Nope. Okay. That's unfortunate. Uh, there is no reload. There is no save. It just... I don't know when the autosaves happen. There's no... There doesn't appear to be any option to do that sort of thing. Sadly. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't really need the area yet, but it's a bit disappointing that we lost the stuff. Uh, no, the spark in my bag was the extra one I picked up on that little trip there. I've lost the... the extra thing I got. Um... No, it says level one on the map. Uh, strengthening the save is not per flame per world. Per save world, Cedric. It is very clearly not right now, as it is not strengthened. Am I, uh, sorry. The strengthening is, is persistent. The upgrade is not. And you lose the shroud cores if you move it. So this is probably the peak level of flame that I've gotten to, or something. But this specific one is only level one. Uh, and it might be talking about the strengthening flame level, not the other thing. Almost certainly is talking about that. Huh. Well, at least I discovered that for you guys, <laughs> so you don't have to deal with the same thing. Your shroud time will persist, but the ability to build an 80x80 80 80 rather than 40x40 40 40 does not. Uh, one sec, I'm just going to quickly fill up my water bottle. And then... Think about where we might want to make a home after I sleep through the night. If I can sleep through the night. I haven't actually been home during the night times. Night speed times 60. There we go. Night is past. It seems a bit, a bit harsh, not being able to get it back. To me anyway, but you know, I guess they had their own thoughts. I'm going to go and explore around to the side. I'm going to repair my tools first. I'm going to explore around. Oh wait, I don't need to carry other weapons. This one will do. I'm gonna go explore around this to the left here. To the west. Yeah, unless those shroud cores are far more common than they seem at this stage, it does seem quite harsh. They must be relatively common though, because the next level is five. You need five of them. Wait, how full is my backpack? Eh, it'll be fine.
yeah it uh, you're exactly right nev it is harsh to new players but i guess in a lot of ways new players are the ones you're worried about being harsh to Alrighty, let's go. Wait. Oh, this is two-handed. I don't have a shield. Good to know. Two-handed weapon is interesting. I'm not sure I like it. Feels like... <laughs> it feels like an all-or-nothing weapon. Which is not really my style. <laughs> See, enough. those up just yet. Uh, let's see. Let's go upstairs before I blow those up. Could take over this place. Looks like a fixer-upper. Perhaps. Argon, take care with this new shipment from the valley. The merchant said... The merchant? The merchant <laughs> said it is highly volatile. Uh, anyway, I paid a pretty penny for this. Do not mess around here. I cannot afford to fix another hole in the wall. Well. You should have remembered that the explosives explode. It does look like it could be a fixer-upper. does seem to lack a little bit on the whole... ...sunlight thing. Uh, given, it's the, given that it's a north-facing brick wall, though, which kind of turns me off. To be honest. Oops, wrong key. Boom! Hello. Metal Star Mace. Uh, backpack. How does it compare? 14 damage. Yeah. Yeah, there's no structural integrity in this. Uh, things will not collapse. There's no gravity for objects either. Ah, please. I mean, it is more effective, but it's also a little less fun than dancing around swinging the hatchet. That's what I remember fighting like when I was playing the demo. 
I can walk around there or I can walk around here. Now there's an encampment up this way, I think. Uh, Zuriel, depending on how it plays out, and I might um, have to look into more information around this, but if we can play this save, uh, I might try and load up this save with Capac and TFE. If, as I presume by this point, uh, TFE will play at least as far as we've gone on his own because he's been really excited about Enshrouded too. How hot is the shed? It has hit 33 degrees. Ow. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, come on. Yes. Eat berries. Get health. Uh, yeah, I haven't done another prediction since the previous ones. Alright, backpack's full. What should I drop? I think I'll drop the dirt. Guess I should probably head home anyway. Drop off all the loot. I was supposed to be looking for a location to set up a base. That's a decent haul of metal scraps, actually. Got up to 13. Alright. Head on home and leave all my stuff. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a mine shaft that I can go into that um, has some stuff that I do remember from the demo. Let's get rid of you and you. Let's put away the other bits. do I want to put away? I think I want to put away the string and the books and the fell thunder brute head and the spark. Now I'll cook this meat. Explorable or exploitable? Uh, not much exploration to it. The cave was pretty small from what I remember. But exploitable. Alright, character skills. What do I want? Sneak attack. Well rested. The base duration for the rest of buff is increased by 5 minutes. Increase the comfort in your home to further increase the duration. Savior. You only need 3 instead of 6 seconds to reverse. Revive an ally miner. When you mine resources, you have a 10% chance to get one additional resource. Quality gear. All t tools lose durability 50% slower. Lumberjack. Merciless attack. To overpower an enemy, fill their stun bar while attacking, and then do a merciless attack. Hmm. Magic damage by 5% per attribute point. Alright, let's go battle mage. I think Battle Mage and some of these basic ones in here are probably worth doing. Quality Gear, I think, might be worth spending some points on. I think this Merciless Attack might, is, might do too. Hmm. 
When you suffer magical damage, you have 10% chance to generate one mana for each health point lost. Increases your intelligence attribute by one. Increases mana by 20 per attribute point. That's probably worth doing too. Yeah, I'll get the quality gear. And well rested. There you go. Spent my points. Now my rested is 20 minutes. But I have apparently still got wax. There we go. Alrighty, off I go again. <laughs> Back to more combat. Although I probably should have swapped out this misfortune mace. Because I I definitely need a shield. This is not this is not a good weapon for me. It is a good weapon, but it is not good a weapon for me. They don't say whether they're two-handed. I'm assuming both of these maces will be because they're both maces. I'm going to go back to my spike club. I am still running around in rags. I think... I hope... That's flint. I hope that... Um, I can collect a decent amount of metal from this the place I was just at and then I then I was going to use that to try and um, get myself some ow armor that was my goal and then I then I can build my little NPCs a home but I want to pick a I want to pick a spot for a home too. Maybe I build on the other side of the bridge, so I'm on the south side, south facing hillside. Hmm. Good work. That's what the ellipsis is. A above the ellipses above their heads are about they're giving him the silent treatment in revenge ah uh, that'll be fine they're mostly waterproof probably You can scrap unwanted gear for runes. I think if this is able to be taken into co-op, Capac is going to want that mace. So I'd rather not destroy it. I'd rather give it to him. I think TFE and I have fairly similar fighting styles and things like this, so I'm not sure he'll be wanting a two-handed weapon. He's in chat, so he can correct me if I'm wrong. Dear to fares, fares well, cease your prattle. He has shovel and fortitude. He'll be out of the mine shaft shortly. Perhaps he plays a prank on us, that scamp. Pray tell, did you put some provisions in there, Hans? Ugh, all the same, he'll survive. Aye, the chest was fine bait, though we had some need of it. I should have considered this before. Yes, the poor man trapped underground. The butt of a... Nasty prank. Ooh, mysterious flask. And nothing up here. Ah! That 
was stupid trap. <laughs> that hurt. I think I'm just breaking the tent right now. Another mysterious flask. Oh. <laughs> that was fun with the way his head landed. Alright. That's not what I meant to press. I meant to press that, and then do this. There we go. They night blew me to smithereens, those scoundrels dare to go witness. We discovered a chest in the new tunnel, I swear it. Tis no jest, observe for yourself. My mouth is choked with dust and my hands are numb from digging my nails splinter. I am famished. Vicious curse, may the shroud take you all. Crackling wand. Is that better than my wand? 14 damage. 11 damage. Yes, it is. Nope. So it seems this is just flint, but at least a lot of the other loot around here was metal. And I got a nail. Didn't even get any flint from that bit. I feel cheated. Hmm. How far does this wood go back? Apparently from the tents you get cloth. I've got two full stacks of cloth at home, so I'm not sure that's worth my time. Right now, anyway. Not sure what I'm about to do right now is worth my time. <laughs> Just curious, given this wood continues, is there something deeper in this? Nope, the wood ends. Okay. Let's continue to hunt for a location for a base. Ooh. What even was that? That was a rat. this little cave hovel thing. <laughs> Charlie, do you need a hand getting up? No, nope, you figured it out. Jeez. <laughs> uh, Partner just came in to pick up Charlie to take her on a walk. And, um... Or at least give her something that she wants. <laughs> Charlie had rolled herself onto her back to stay cool. So she couldn't get up because her legs were against the wall. Ow. That act. Ow. That hurt quite a bit. What is in this cave? Cave passage. A passage to where? Oh. Seriously? Hit! Stupid flames! Yep. 
Yeah. Flint. I thought in the light it might have been a different type of material. What else have we got here? Wolf. There's shroud here. Is there another thingy? I think that's more flint there. I don't know, one of those tree things. Doesn't appear to be obviously anyway. I was hoping that the flint was iron because I could only see the red glint. I couldn't see the greenish bit that's in it. Altar. Nice. Flame shrine, I mean. Alright, you know what? I'm going down to that house. The wolf over there. There's some flint there. This house looks pretty nice. Rookmore. More explosive barrels. Hmm. I had hoped there might be more behind that. <laughs> there was not. It is in the sun, but it is still, like, I think the sun is slightly... Wait, what? Where does the sun go? Are we in the northern hemisphere or the southern? I... Because I'm looking north and the sun is behind that tree. Does the sun not go east to west? Oops. Is there a sun? I don't think there is a sun, like... A visual for the sun in the sky, no. Hunter's bow. Not bad. Oops. Probably should have dismantled that book. Cool. More metal scraps. And this is why I'm getting so much cloth and other junk. Uh, 
Uh, how many games have Northern Hemisphere Sun simulation? A lot. <laughs> a lot. As someone who is used to saying a north-facing backyard is lovely, uh, I have to flip everything a lot of the time. Yolanda is still weak. She can barely lift her body from the bed. She sleeps, has hot and cold flashes in the night. I muffle her pained grunts with the pillow. We can't let them know we're here. They're always out there, prowling, shrieking through the night. We're surrounded. I don't want them to be our end. I want peace. We'll be by your side forever. I promise. I love you, Lana Yolanda. Eleanor. Well, that's rather tragic. <laughs> uh, I just realized what I did then. That's rather tragic. Here, take an axe to the face. I will sully your bones. More metal scraps, and then I'm back up the top. Okay, I'm not going to waste my lockpick on the front door. I am just jumping out this. Do, 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 do. Yeah, is Enshrouded even a globe? That is a fair question. I, I am getting confused by the shadow directions, though. I'm starting to... Whoa! I am seriously starting to think that the sun rises in the south and sets in the north. Thank you so much, NG, NG Gaming. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. Uh, smashy, smashy. Nope. Whatever. I'll leave it. I don't care. What is in all this? Yeah, I know I'm a bit weird with the whole need to know where the sun is thing. It's just... Capac and I made a massive castle base in a... Um, in an area that... in Icarus, in an area that's really, really dark. And I just want to try and avoid doing that again. <laughs> so I'm just mindful of it. Is all. Alright, it's night time. I'm gonna fast travel back home, or maybe fast travel over here. I'll fast travel home, get through some of the night, fast travel to the other side and see where the sun rises. Thanks, NG. Um, so, sleep. No. Deal with inventory, then sleep. And then once I've picked a location for a base, we will move. Uh, move that onto there, and let's cook. Yeah, the sun does fade out instead of moving to the horizon. It's, it's a bit odd. Meat. Might as well cook this chicken. Or rabbit or whatever it is.
Uh, yeah, the, there is no actual sun. Uh, and yes, there were... I remember seeing people take issue with the, how quickly the transition happened from day to night, even during the uh, Steam Next Fest demo they had. I'm going to drop off this. Minus 30 more, 30% 30 more damage, but minus one minute maximum time in the shroud. Plus 80 mana. Hunter's bow versus my other bow. 10 power. 10 power, they're the same. Just put that in my weapon thing. Oh, it's full. Uh, okay. Guess I should make another one at some point. Um, uh, no, Miko, I I disagree that this looks anything like Valworld. <laughs> it's more like Valheim. Much more like Valheim. All right, let's quickly transfer over here and see where the sun is. It is a unfortunate for this game that it did launch so close to a game that got that many people excited though because I think it deserves its own attention but it's which it seems to be getting but I was worried that it wouldn't get as much as it should get oh can't run. Alright, where are the first shadows going to appear? And where is the approximate location of the sun? Oh, it's... um. I think this is made in Unity, and I think the sun in the sky thing is not actually that... The lack of a sun is not actually that weird for a game because it often has to be like there's often a conscious decision and it's the number of games where the sun technically rises in the north that I've heard of makes me wonder if it's not that weird a thing if you're a game developer. From a player's perspective it's weird but I think it's not that weird. Ah, that's good, TFE. I am pleased. If it's made it to 10th in the player charts, that's a really good effort. And about what I expected for Entrouded. With its different building thing with its tiny little voxel. Tiny little cubes. Hello, sun. I want daylight. I want to know where the sun rises. Oh. Oh, there's sun on top of the trees. Where even is the sun starting? Okay. So the sun's up there. What? The sun's in the west? The sun is totally in the west. It starts in the southwest. <laughs> huh. There's the sun. It does have a sun object. I don't think it did in the demo, but it does now. Okay. So maybe around here could be a nice little spot to build a base. No, jump. Roll up. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I 
is it only one sun? Maybe there are multiple. I mean, perhaps? Oh dear. I reckon somewhere up here is going to be a nice place to have a home. Ah, you don't need flat land to begin with. You can make it flat. Yeah. Look at the views. Views off to some frozen mountains in that direction. Desert. Massive looming tower. Some goats. Yeah. I think this is going to be it. Uh, up again. That's... Uh, I can't remember which one of the... Not Lego, but brick build companies. But yeah, I had seen that... There are some not Lego brick built Stargate sets coming out. I probably should have left this grave, it kind of looked nice. Oh well, too late. Hmm. Nothing. Blue bricks, yeah, there we go. Now, some of you might also be aware that there was a Stargate game that got released. Um, had been thinking about playing it. I did get access to um, their closed beta before the release. I think it could... I think it's a game that's not really my style of game particularly much, at least to play on stream. It might be something I, I just play for myself. Uh, so I'm not thinking I will be playing it on stream at any stage. Alright, where is a decent spot to put this, I think? Maybe here? Okay. Let's start building a home. I'm thinking if I build around the altar, like on three sides, I can try and make my base sort of in the... around it like that. There was an interesting observation on one of the Stargate subreddits about whether it, a complete reboot is required and someone was like, yeah, a lot of the Stargate stuff only works because social media and mobile phones weren't a thing at the time that they did it. Especially the secrecy side of things. Oh, hello. Yes, I am going to build on someone's grave for luck. A guillotine.
I might check out that weapon actually. Um, is it one handed? No. <laughs> it is a big two handed axe. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, what do I need for a workbench? String and logs. Just need to grab some logs. Has Capac written all over that edge? You are not wrong. Grab a few more logs and then I'll make my workbench and then I can start building a bit of a house. Hopefully one that's big enough to have a blacksmith and a hunter in it. So they can stop complaining about being outside. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's cold. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Dynamite. This has multiplayer co-op. Up to 16 people, if I recall correctly. Might leave this big tree. Uh, the Shroud is a fog that um, encroaches on everything and consumes it. You can see some of the fog down below. Vest over here. I see it over here. Yeah, down there. That blue stuff. That's the Shroud. We should go down to that house at some point. I'm going to stop getting distracted. I'm going to go build some things, because I want to build. <laughs> You'd think they want to be outside since they've been trapped in those urns. I don't think they're conscious in the urns, or I really hope they're not, because that's a long time to remain conscious and have nothing happen. That is definitely a way to truly lose your mind. See, it does. Yeah, I think it did say somewhere that the people in the vessels are asleep. What flower that I hadn't found before. Okay, crafting, workbench. Now, where do I want to put this so it's not in the way? Let's just go over here. I would like to make some rough stone blocks. Rough flintstone blocks. Oh, the flintstone kind of looks nice. Hard wood, shroud wood. So does that. Hmm. Could go with those flintstone, but I think I'll go with stone because I've got lots of it. And I might use the stone shingle roof for my roofs. <laughs> just imagine going to all these lengths to bring a bunch of people into the future just for them to be awake and raging insane after being freed. Yeah. Okay. I want the altar to be slightly elevated compared to the stone or the stone at the same height. I think the stone at the same height. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me that you can um, put an altar down near a tower and then just slowly mine it with the build hammer and collect some unusual materials that way. 
It's totally the sort of thing I would do if I were not live streaming it. <laughs> Oops. Uh, but because I am, I try to avoid the extremely tedious ways of getting resources. There we go. Make a bit of a floor further out. I want to make this little courtyard larger than the size of the altar, but not super big. Use Y to undo. Yes, you can. That is a helpful insight. Thank you. Okay, no snapping. Let's... I think maybe... Go to there. Especially handy to know now, because <laughs> I misplaced that. Oh, I don't have any stone left. Yeah, I think this could look nice. Oh yeah, I know there's more shapes here. Don't worry. I'm aware. I just, I find myself, I, I'm finding it easier to build this way. Because uh, I like to have that degree of control. Like, you give me these tiny vox- these tiny voxels to build with. I'm using the tiny voxels. I'm not building some massive grid as well. Oops. Oh, no. Why? What else can I make? No. Uh, one. Tab. How do I make the dirt? I thought I could make dirt before. Can I make dirt blocks? Ah, no. Dirt is just a material. There we go. Cube one meter. Oh. Single terrain block. There we go. Uh, yeah. So I'd have to go down to the terrain ones. I'll probably replace this with dirt road later, I guess. Oh, what does terrain stone look like? Maybe that's what looked nice there. Yeah, hang on. I need to pick, some, pick up some stones. Yes, and I get the grass for free, exactly. Yeah. Uh, 
that. Yeah, I think that works reasonably well. And I'll just use the dirt to smooth this out a little bit. So you can totally make for flat farms later. APN, this is made by Keen Games. Space Engineers is made by Keen Software House. I don't know how that isn't a problem, but there you go. <laughs> Seems very strange to me that that isn't somehow a problem. But it appears not to be. Okay, so I'm thinking this side could be the blacksmith. Might use snapping here because it's a bit quicker. Nope. Wrong spot. Big an area do I need for the blacksmith? I need to have his charcoal or charcoal kiln accessible. So maybe I can build it out on this out through a door at the back side of it. Alright, time for a wall. And I need a door. What? Oh. Apparently I still have the big shape. Yes, floating castles are entirely possible. This is Minecraft style um, integrity, I would say. Things can float, you can do whatever you like with it. But since I even build with fake structural integrity in mind in Space Engineers, I'm doing it here. Unless I specifically plan a build around looking magical and floaty, I do tend to give it support. Is there a way to remove all the Vaseline from the camera? 
Um... I don't know which of these settings might do that. There are ladders. I assume I can build them at some point, but because the like the places that I've found around the place have had ladders. So they must do. Or it seems reasonable to assume that they do. And I'm out of stone. Oh! Hope, can I undo my removal? Yes. Phew. All right, let's quick travel to the other place and we'll grab the stone from it and come back. Yeah, I figure there are still quite a few things that I haven't unlocked that I can unlock. Um. Which I hope I will unlock at some point. May as well bring a few things across with me if I'm coming across. At least it's easy to move between. Yeah, Kaelin, it's been treating me pretty well. My capture card didn't treat me well this stream, but the game has. It's completely unrelated to the game, by the way, the capture card issues, I should say. More mining. The one for building options is the carpenter, but there is a quest you get up. Oh, the carpenter is the next guy, isn't it? For me? No, the farmer is the next guy. And then I should have enough room to build this wall back as far as I was planning to. Basically, I want to create a little bit of a U-shaped house with some split levels so that we can exit onto this higher ground over here, which I may level at some point. I figured I'd make room for the smithy first. plan is for the people that I've collected. <laughs> it's still unclear as to whether things will work to bring Capac and TFE into this same save, especially as they'll have missed out on the early stuff. See you, Erbigan. I'm hoping that I'll be able to do some little detail work around the place with some of the timber. So this isn't all just boring stone, because right now it is all just boring stone. Uh, I 
going to switch to terrain. Does appear to be better to done better be done <laughs> better to be done with the pick. Let's actually get resources. I thought it did get resources back previously when doing that with the other thing, but apparently not. Or I didn't collect enough of it for it to count. Is that gonna be wide enough? Want me to be happy? I think it should be about right. I might just go a couple of blocks further. Oh, and now it's so dark I can't see. I'm going back to my other place, sleeping through the night and coming back. Honestly, Reaper Titan, I have no idea. Uh, there are too many things going on at the moment for me to keep track of what I'm going to do what day. <laughs> I still want to do the RVs of War stuff. And Capac, TFA and I were planning on playing this next Monday. Incorporate natural stone walls into the back wall. Yeah, I could do. But it looks a bit weird if you have to do some of it in not natural stone. Uh, so I'm inclined to just do it in the brick. Has Palworld replaced Icarus? Unlikely. Our plan, prior to Palworld existing, had been for this to replace Icarus temp for a while. for space engineers bullets do have drop but they also have a maximal distance that is too short for the bullet drop to matter uh, in terms of like how far you can get a bullet to go they would need to have a much longer range for that to matter That's going to be pretty well where I want it. I'm thinking the quickest, like the best way to build in this for me is build a big boring thing and then slowly chisel away at it and add extra detail rather than trying to go for detail right from the outset, because I feel like if I do that, I'm going to drive myself insane. There we go. And then I just need to get the, the wall piece in below. Like the I don't like these edges being here. Edge stones. Yeah. How not to build bricks in Enshrouded? Yeah. Alright. 
Now, I was going to build a wooden story above this. So I just got to think about where the stairs are going to be before I start putting too much else down. I was also thinking I want to have a door, like a wide door here. Oh, whoops. Did not think that was going to remove like that. Okay, have to change to the single cubes. Which means I may get rid of the other door that I cut out. I'll cut the rest of that out when I need to once I know how wide a double door is. I go there and I maybe do stairs starting here. not centered that enough to do that okay <laughs> let's um let's try and actually get this in the middle first shall i oh okay the undo goes a fair way back where is the middle the middle is here placed. Nope. Not there. Why did that remove that? No! Curse you. I think I'm understanding some awkwardness in how the removal works. Because it needs to be highlighted on something, so it works best when you use the single piece. Oh, that's embedded in the wall, not placed out like I wanted it. Okay. You snapping. Let's see if that fixes it. Nope. Yes. Yes, I got it. Did not get that one, though. <laughs> to enjoy that those stairs just exploded. Yes. I'm not enjoying that the stairs aren't blazing like I want them to. There we go. That's what I wanted. And then I can build a wooden floor up here. Uh, just extend the stone wall up another layer. And then start laying down a floor. Is that right? That is not right, but it's close enough. <laughs> the joys of building in tiny cubes. 
And this is why I don't let myself get a too excited with building stuff in small grid in Space Engineers. Because I would never, ever stop. Oops. Oof. It is now 34.9 degrees in my shed. Um, there are different size blocks, but getting them to place accurately when you're placing the larger pieces can be more tricky than placing down the single blocks. That's why I thought I'd put down a bit of a boundary here and then start using the larger pieces again. Like this. Yeah. And then it's a lot quicker. <laughs> figure there was no point moving him until I gave him a roof and this hopefully will count as a roof the blacksmith yeah I'm looking forward to being able to replace this with some nicer timber that doesn't have the chunky bits on the end pieces. As I think some of the other ones don't. But I guess I'll find out when I try out some of the other des other pieces, but I think this will be an good looking enough to keep me happy for the moment. Yeah, I want the not rough options, yes. Which I have a few of, but I don't have a lot of the materials they use, so... I was gonna wait. They give enough building area, I think, that I can... kind of intend to lay down something more of a village rather than one singular gigantic structure. done. Cool. Now one thing I was going to do was place a little bit of a balcony out here in timber. the way the stone pops out there. That looks nice. It's a nice little touch. Uh, I do, however, have to get rid of some of them. Because I want to have another centered door up here. And so the floor makes sense. Do that. Now how that how's that gonna look from underneath? Oh it hasn't have impacted the stone at all. Sweet!
That's awesome. That is a relief. Now, do I want to build walls out of wood atop this? Now. Don't think I do. Not yet. I think I'll get the smithy in. I could probably leave that door on the side. It actually doesn't look too bad. I gotta grab the smithies bits and pieces after. Let's see if I've got enough room in my inventory to make storage, which I don't. <sighs> I have an idea. Now I do. I need string and I don't have string. Uh, can I make string? Yes. Uh, it's quite different to building an Icarus, yes. <laughs> the scale that you're building out here is just totally different. No available space in the backpack. Alright, fine. Um... Oh, wait. Don't really need this campfire. I'm just going to chuck it over here. Maybe it'll provide some light. Now I can start putting some storage down and I'm going to leave it out here to begin with. I'll move them inside when I need, when I get the chance. Move those across, that across, that across, all of this stuff. Huh, whatever. I can rearrange it later. Ooh. The undo lasts even when you get rid of the hammer. For a bit. Sweet. That made that a bit easier. Alright, let's go get a blacksmith. Time to bring him across. Yeah. Oh, actually, one the the way that the different types transition to each other is is great. They've done that very nicely. Uh, what am I doing? How am I going to pick all this stuff up? Grab those. Pick that up. And I've got my summoning one, so I should just be able to summon him over there to move him. I think. The Holistic Engine, which is an engine we created ourselves, specifically designed and optimized to build Enshrouded. I think I'll leave a little bit of free space around this, but I'm going to put it over here. And I think I left the summoning wand behind. I did. Great job. Do I put the charcoal kiln inside? That I'm uncertain of. I kind of wanted out of another, like put it somewhere else, but I think I'll put it here. For now. And I can put an internal wall in across here so that the smithy has a separate entrance with another little door in the back here. That could work. I'll go pick up my stone blocks. And we 
go there. Me undo. Now me undo. Smithy here. I think that'll look, look nice. This is giving me La Casita vibes from an Encanto. Complete with its own magic flame. I am not upset with that comparison. Have the build tool active. Oof, that wind is picking up, and the thankfully the humidity is going down. Yes, Oswald Anders, please. Arrive at your smithy. Yay! Thanks, Crassus. Thank you for two years. Thank you very much. Uh, if you want a weather update, it is currently 35.1 degrees inside my shed. Are you happy now? You don't have. Do you complain about a roof anymore? Or are you okay with this now? Felling axes, pickaxes, lock picks. Alright. Better. Yeah, I was. I did try and find a thermometer that could plug in via USB that would also have... There was also a hygrometer that had the um, humidity, but I didn't find one that looked like it had an interface that would play nicely with Twitch or OBS. Uh, what am I looking for? I was coming over to this... No, I can't remember why. Um, I might move this. Pick this up. Wait, what? Why does my summoning one look like Anders now? Interesting. Uh, oh, I wanted to build a door. Is this where I built the doors? Let's see what the doors cost to make. Roof blocks, comfort, decorative doors. Here we go. Wooden double door. Need two wooden doors. Wooden door needs metal scraps and wood logs. Apparently do have a man in my pocket. That is uh, weirdly true. Oh, I don't have enough logs. Do I leave any logs in here? Yes. Many. Okay. Ooh, big.
Interesting. That's not the outcome I was expecting when using that just then. But it's actually probably not a bad one. It's placed it in front, which means I should be able to then carve this out to the correct size. So then I can place it inside. to go one more? No. There we are. Nice big doors. Uh, are there doors and can... Are there mounts and can you open the doors on mounts? I have no idea if there are mounts and I have no idea if you can open doors on them. Doors the wrong way around too. Yeah, that's better. Wow. Thanks, Rencoat. <laughs> I'm going to claim that I sound older because of how hot it is here right now. And that my, um... <laughs> the water in my water bottle is somewhat warm. Need lights. Yeah, were there... Torches on this? Or did I have to get them from him? Illumination. Candles, firefly lamps, skull candles, standing torch, wall torch. Resin and torn cloth. Did I bring those with me? Or are they still back at the other base? Resin. Resin I did bring. Torn cloth I did not. I guess I will go get some. Is Charlie in the shed with me? No. She <laughs> she abandoned me when beckoned by my other half. <laughs> She's she wisely left. Yeah, I got the cloth. May as well grab some of this other stuff while I'm here. Right, back we go. At least the fast travel makes it very easy to move a base. And I was making wall torch, so we have some interior lighting. Because that would be lovely. Um, let's put a wall torch where? Probably above your workstation. Maybe just off to the side. And I might try and line these up to be about the same height. Then I need some out here. I mean, it's only a facade, but it does sort of, if I stand here <laughs> and approach and put the camera like that, it looks like a home. 
I don't think stuff burns in this. Although I said that in Pal World and I was wrong. Uh, there are shelves and stuff, so I could put like little candles on shelves too, but I think for the stony area down here, the wall torches work quite well. Okay, cool. I think I might um, wrap things up here because I'm pretty happy with how this is coming together and I think I've got an idea of what I'm going to do with the upper floor. Which means I'll have plenty to keep myself entertained as um, Kapak catches up and TFE won't take as long to catch up, I think. On Monday. When I return for more of this. Which will come after playing some more RVs at war with Black Shadow. Some more Space Engineers, and then Enshrouded, I think is the way things are going to go. Where to put the Huntress? I think the Huntress might get her own little cabin. I think I might give her like a little hunting lodge or something. But yeah. There will be a brand new Space Engineers tutorial this Sunday. There wasn't last Sunday because I was... Well, I'm too much of a perfectionist of for them <laughs> to get it done in time. Uh, so it took two weeks. I'm working on the stuff behind the scenes to get some recordings for another series to begin on Sundays in the next few weeks. Until then, I'll be doing tutorials, but um, we'll, once that series starts, hopefully just do the tutorials as extra things that come as like an extra video that week rather than the only but we'll see if i need extra time i might just take a week off from the series do a tutorial go back that sort of thing uh and i'm also planning the tutorial series to be sort of a little bit let's play as well so i can build things and i can show off some cool stuff as i get further and progress through the game so it is a it's more of a kind of a, a conti it has a degree of continuity to it but yeah uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. I have to now go and figure out what I'm going to do about my broken capture card because it appears to be completely dead. Uh, but yeah, I will be back on Monday, probably streaming from my main PC <laughs> rather than my stream PC. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. Thanks for coming, everyone. Bye.